Hey guys, this is the Nervous Lab video for ANP1. Um, so we'll take you through all the uh, anatomy of the brain and as well as the nerve uh, model, the neuron model. Okay, so first up, this outside here, this outside shell that you see out here, this is the cerebrum. And since this is the left side of the brain, uh, you can also say that this is the, 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 the left cerebral hemisphere. So this is cerebrum, all this is a cerebrum, and this that you see here, this is the cerebellum. So this is the cerebellum, and this is the cerebrum. And the cerebrum is made up of these little, uh, these, 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 these grooves, and, and uh, the valleys, and these little mounds, these little mountains, or little noodles. And so <clears throat> the raised portions, these are uh, gy gyri, or you can say one is a, a gyrus. And, and the indentations are the sulci. One would be a sulcus. So if it's a shallow groove, it's, it's a sulcus. And if it's a, a, a deep groove, it's called a, a, a fissure. OK, so you have this, the cerebrum, and this is the cerebellum. And then you have a gyrus and a sulcus. Um, the cerebrum is made out of uh, gray matter, where you see in here, where you have the, uh, the, the midbrain and the pons and so on. Um, this is this is white matter here, as 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 well as the um, the the, the arborvitae is also white matter. You see, this is a arborvitae, which means tree of life, um, which you find in the cerebellum. This is called the arborvitae. Okay, and then if you want to do the lobes here, you're looking at the the so this person is facing this way. This way is anterior, anterior over here. So frontal lobe, temporal lobe, parietal lobe, and occipital lobe. Frontal, temporal, parietal, and occipital back here. Flip it back over. This C shape that you see here, this is the corpus callosum. <clears throat> corpus callosum connects the left and right hemispheres. Corpus callosum. And continuing around, as you kind of go around like this, this is your fornix. Fornix. And then kind of down in here, this is the uh, this is the um, the choroid plexus. So this is the choroid plexus. Now in here, this this septum here, this is the this is the the septum pellucidum. But if you peel this off, you find there's a cavity that's filled with cer cerebral spinal fluid. So that cavity is called the lateral ventricle. And since there are, this is a half, this, there's a lateral ventricle on the left side and a lateral ventricle on the other hemisphere. So that would make up <clears throat> two, two ventricles, two lateral ventricles. But, and, and those are cavities filled with cerebral spinal fluid. But this actual uh, septum here is called the septum pellucidum. And as long as we're doing the ventricles, <clears throat> going around in a circle here, this would be the third ventricle. Why do you call it third? Well, because there was the first two were those two lateral ventricles. So this is the third ventricle. And as you follow it down here, like with your probe, this area here, this is the cerebral aqueduct. And then finally, this little pocket here, this is the fourth ventricle. So again, lateral, lateral third ventricle, and then cerebral aqueduct, and then finally your fourth ventricle is right here. This was the corpus callosum, fornix, the choroid plexus. Now this, this, this big ball area here, where that is, uh, um, that the third ventricle, third ventricle surrounds, this is the, all of this is the thalamus. Tip, it, tip the brain kind of like that. Here's the thalamus, and then this little trapezoid area here. This is the hypothalamus, hypothalamus. Now you have a couple of glands, one that's anterior and one that's posterior. The anterior one, you can't really see, but if you just uh, take a different model here, here it is. This is your pituitary gland. And then the, the little bump on the back is the pineal gland. So pineal and pituitary. 
here you can see it in pink here. Here is your pineal gland right there. Now, if you look kind of closely back in here, you have like two more bumps. So it's like you have a bump and then you have two more bumps below that. This is the superior colliculus and the inferior colliculus. And and because this is just one hemisphere, you'll have two more on the other side. So you have one, two, three, four. Two superior colliculi and two inferior colliculi. And those four will make up the corpora quadrigemina. Corpora quadrigemina. <clears throat> um, this is the uh, this is the the cerebellum again, cerebellum, and this is the uh, arbor vitae, and um, now here you have your cere cerebral aqueduct, and then here, um, this here is your cerebral peduncle, this area, cerebral peduncle, and then pons, this ball that you see here, this is the pons, and then just below all this area here then is your medulla oblongata and then finally the spinal cord down here um, now on to the uh, spinal onto the spinal uh, sorry onto the cranial nerves you have if you kind of see here you have a you got like a half of an X you know imagine you're you, you, you're make an X like that here's half one that goes anterior and one that goes posterior. So this is your um, optic nerve here. And then the one that goes back, this leg here, this is your optic tract. And then where it meets in the middle, that's your optic chiasma. Chiasma, chi like, like X. So optic nerve, optic tract, and then optic chiasma. This is your olfactory nerve and and the olfactory bulb. Then going around the the pons, you got a you got a you got a whole bunch here. So this is this one here, starting kind of medial and kind of at the top here. Um, this is your oculomotor nerve. So this is like you know this is like one, and then uh, your your um, uh, your your um, Optic is is uh, nerve cranial nerve number two, and then this is your th this is your third one. This is your uh, oculomotor, and then this one that you see kind of in white there going across, that is your uh, trochlear, and then this one here that's your trigeminal. See it, trigeminal, and then you have your. Um, your abducens right here, abducens. So again, you have your olfactory, your optic nerve, and then here you have your um, your your oculomotor, and then you have your trochlear, and then you have your trigeminal, and then finally abducens. That completes um, everything that you'll need to know for uh, the brain for AMP1. And we move this off to the side. Here we got a model of a, of a neuron. Here's a neuron. And uh, all this, this is the cell body. You got your nucleus, you got your cell body here. And then these white, these white projections out here, these are your dendrites, dendrite, dendrite, dendrite. These are terminal buttons from, from uh, pre, like, uh, you know, presynaptic, presynaptic neurons. These would be the connections here, the terminal buttons, the axons. But the dendrite of this cell are, these are the actual dendrites here. One, two, three, four, five, six, like that. Here's the axon hillock, axon hillock and then the axon. And if you continue down, you can see the axon. Here's the axon all the way. It's cut in half here, sliced, axon. Here's the myelin. Here's a Schwann cell, Schwann cell that makes this myelin in the PNS. And uh, that's, that's all you gotta know for, um, 
for the models for the nervous piece of the exam. All right, thank you very much.